What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm back with another edition of the LA Taco Neighborhood Project. And today we're going over the San Gabriel Valley to talk about Glendora, which is known as the pride of the foothills. So I wanted to find out why. Let's get into it. The Shoshone Native American people were the first settlers of what is now Glendora, with artifacts having been found from as long as 8,000 years ago inside city limits. Subsequently, Spanish and Mexican governments colonized the land, and in 1837, Ignacio Palomares received the Rancho San Jose land grant from the Alta California governor. In the 1840s, Palomares sold his land to an Englishman named Henry Dalton. However, following the Mexican-American War in 1852, Dalton's right of ownership was challenged, and he lost the land. In 1874, John Bender and William Bryant Cullen, who had served in the Confederate Army together, came to this area from Memphis and became the first permanent settlers of what would become the Glendora Township. They cleared the land, planting wheat, flax, barley, beans, grapevines, vegetables, fruit trees, and the area began to flourish as other farmers arrived in the 1870s. This once remote agricultural land became connected to the outside world in 1887 when the Santa Fe Railway completed their transcontinental line from Chicago to Los Angeles and included a station in Glendora. That's when George Whitcomb, who owned Whitcomb Locomotives in Chicago, came, bought, and subdivided the land, and it was started on approximately 300 acres in March of 1887. He came up with the name Glendora by combining the name of his wife, Leodora, with the location of his home, which was in a glen of the San Gabriel Mountains. Hmm. By the turn of the century, vast groves of oranges and lemons began to establish Glendora as a new center of the Southern California citrus industry. In 1896, Glendora built its first citrus packing house, and it became the largest citrus packing house in the entire world. In 1907, Glendora received another boost from trains when the Pacific Electric Railway built the Monrovia-Glendora line, which gave people in downtown Los Angeles a direct route to Glendora. With access to all these railways, Glendora became the conduit to the rest of the country with their great oranges, including directly to President William Howard Taft, who specifically had a crate of Glendora oranges shipped to the White House during his presidency. On November 13, 1911, Glendora was incorporated and it officially became the city of Glendora. And in 1933, the sprinkler was invented in Glendora by Orton Engelhart and manufactured and marketed by Clem Lefetra. From 1960 to 1978, Glendora was the home to Cloakie Productions, which produced episodes of Gumby, and today it still hosts the Gumby Festival. It's worth noting that Route 66 runs directly through Glendora and is still today an important corridor for business. Glendora, California, built by trains and citrus, and still the pride of the foothills. All right, L.A., it's been a minute.